What's up guys, welcome to another LumaFusion tutorial. Today's topic is the insane zoom out transition. I've worked the uh, last week on it. Uh, it wasn't that easy to get it smooth and nice, but I think the result is very good. Again, don't forget to give thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel and activate the bell so you won't miss any video in the future. But now let's jump right into LumaFusion. Welcome to the surface of LumaFusion. Before we start the editing process of the transition, there are a few things you have to keep in mind. First, this transition will look the best with 4K footage. Second, this is a 25p timeline, but you can use the same settings with a 30p timeline as well. The transition will be just a little bit faster. And third, I would appreciate it a lot if you could thumbs up to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The transition will also be included in my LumaFusion transition pack which also contains diverse whip, zoom and roll world transition. A download link is in the info box and in the description down below. But now let's start the editing. At first, double tap the first clip to get to the editing surface. Select frame and fit and go to the size and position. Now change the size to 200. Then go back to your timeline. The second step is cutting a 10 frame sample at the end of the first clip and a 15 frame sample of the beginning of the second clip. Then double tap the 10 frame sample. Go to the last frame, set a keyframe and change the size to 100. Now move back one frame and change the size to 165. Then move back another frame and change the size to 192. Another frame back and change the size to 198. And finally another frame back and change the size to 200. Now go to the Effects tab and select the short zoom blur. Go to the last frame again and set a keyframe. Change the zoom amount to 5.25. Move back another frame and set the zoom amount to about 2.75. Then move back two frames and set the zoom amount to 0.35. And finally a last frame back and set the zoom amount to 0. Now go back to your timeline and select the second cutted clip by double tapping it. Select the frame and fit tab and go to size and position again. Now we will add a lot of keyframes. Set a keyframe at the beginning and set the size to 350. Next frame 300. Next frame 250. Next frame 200. Next frame 166, next frame 150, next frame 140, next frame 132, next frame 124, next frame 112, next frame 105, next frame 102, and the last frame 100. Unfortunately, it has to be that much keyframes to smoothen out the zoom, so sorry about that. Now select the effects tab again and add the short zoom blur at the first frame and add a keyframe. Set the amount to about 10. Then move forward one frame and set the amount to 7.5. Move another frame and set the amount to 4. Then move forward 6 frames and set the amount to 0. And now let's go back to our timeline and check the transition out. So guys, this was the transition. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I've also added this transition to my LumaFusion transition pack. A link is in the info box or in the description box down below. 
go and check it out and if you already have bought it um, just download it again and you will get the updated version so you already have free lifetime updates if you buy it now so go out and check it see you next time guys bye